Hey you guys, so since it's almost Halloween, I thought I would do something a little bit different and tell you the story of my first and probably most interesting paranormal encounter. And I also want to show off my new lighting setup. So I want to preface this by saying that you totally don't have to believe me. I know if someone told me a story like this, I wouldn't believe them either. But this is something that happened to me when I was 12 or 13 years old. Believe it if you want, um, but this is my experience. Uh, so here you go. So my family likes to vacation a lot in Polly's Island, South Carolina. Um, it's a little town slightly south of Myrtle Beach. But we usually stayed at the campground at a place called Huntington Beach State Park, um, which I still tend to go to a lot. Um, it's a really cool, um, relaxed beach environment. And one of the things we usually like to do as a family is go walking on the beach um, pretty late at night, around 11 or midnight. I remember the moon was really bright that night, um, so it was, the beach was pretty well lit. And as we were walking back, I remember looking out at the ocean or like right at the shore, and I saw a man um, with like a straw hat on, just kind of like, he was like maybe ankle deep in the water, and he was just kind of looking out to the water. And it was just mainly his silhouette. Um, it was dark, and the moon was kind of, you know, backlighting him or whatever. And I remember he looked in our direction and kind of put his hand up like this. Like, it wasn't like a full wave, but it was just kind of like, a you know, an acknowledgement that he saw us there. And me being my so awkward self I kind of like gave him a little halfway back and looked away to my parents but then I looked back out and it almost seemed like he was like fading away like I know that sounds like cliche or whatever but it was like my eyes like had the burned in image of him standing there when I looked back it just kind of dissipated of course me being interested in you know like ghost hunters and ghost whisper and things like that I was like oh my god did I just see a ghost so after that we headed back to the campsite um, and just went to bed for the night and I remember that night it was really really stormy the wind was crazy against it we were in an RV and the wind was really crazy against it um, we could hear terrible rain lightning thunder you know the whole shebang then the next morning when we woke up we went outside into the campground and it was like a disaster zone there were beach chairs, beach towels, people's awnings to their campers were completely like, you know, torn off or like halfway off the camper. It was pretty bad. But what was weird was we had a clothesline hooked to the back of our camper to a tree right behind it and our clothes were still on the clothesline and all of our camp chairs were still there, all of our towels were still where we left them. Nothing had been touched at all and it was really weird. I remember at the time thinking like, whoa, this is weird. We just got like really lucky or I don't know. It wasn't until a couple weeks later when my aunt came to visit, she brought a book of local ghost stories and I hadn't really looked into too much about local lore or whatever, so I thought it was pretty cool and my dad brought up the fact that I saw this ghost in Polly's Island and I remember her eyes got really wide and I was not really sure why. I mean, I didn't know if she was just kind of, you know, acting along like, you know, oh, Oh, ghosts, whatever. But then she said, have you heard of the gray man? And both my dad and I were like, no, never heard of it. So she grabbed the book and opened it up to a chapter. Um, and there it was called the gray man of Polly's Island. And she started asking me like a series of questions, you know, what was he wearing? And I said, I remember he had like a large hat on and like an overcoat or some kind of big jacket. Then the thing that really sent chills down my spine was she said, was there any kind of storm afterwards? And I was like, whoa. And she started just, you know, saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and I didn't know what was going on. But part of the legend is, and I kid you not, like I read it in the book and I've seen it on the web all over. I'll post a link down in the description to kind of read the full story. But the legend says that the spirit often shows up before a storm or like a hurricane to warn you either if you're on the water to get out of the water or if you're on land to evacuate the area. And part of the legend says if you see him, he will offer protection for you and your property during the storm. Of course, I had never heard the story before, so seeing it in the book at the time, like I was seriously freaked out. I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to a lot of things, even now, but I have absolutely no explanation for this, having never heard this story before and so many elements of it lining up so perfectly. And I'm not gonna try to attempt to explain it and say it was definitely a ghost, but this definitely makes me believe that there is something else out there. So there you guys go. That was my story of my first and most unexplainable paranormal experience. I'm really curious to hear if you guys have any stories like it, or if you guys want to have a debate whether ghosts exist in the comments, go for it. I'll definitely chime in. But I hope you have a great week. I have a couple more Halloween videos planned, so stick around, stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!